Hi guys, this is a little walk around video just to show you how to use everything with your new car. So, when it comes to fueling the car, what you need to do is, just go into, inside the vehicle, and then in the footwell, there is a little lever just there, pull that, and then that will release the fuel cap, which is on the driver's side of the car. You then use your keys, so obviously unlock and then screw off. It's got a little green ring around there, just to remind you that it's petrol. And then to do, lock it back up again, and then shut that, and just push it in so it clicks. When it comes to getting into the boot of the car, you first of all got a lever down here. If you pull that, that will release the boot. Or, you can use your keys into the slot there. So lift that up, and then there. Whilst we're in the boot then, so we first of all got your tyre jack on the left hand side and then we've got your towing eye and your tyre iron just there with the spare wheel located underneath the carpet and it's just a little um, screw cap there it is a space saver spare wheel so you are limited to 80 kilometres an hour or 50 miles an hour it's meant as a temporary measure whilst you, just so you can get you home so if we shut the door again so what I'll do now is we'll jump inside I'll show you how everything works. So, so let's move the chair. So, what I need to do is get the keys out of my pocket. And then we'll just turn the engine over just so the battery doesn't go flat. So, down to the right hand side of the steering wheel. This is where you've got your adjustment for your wing mirrors, which is you turn the little knob to whichever side mirror you want to adjust and then it's just a little joystick so you can adjust it however you like it. Get rid of that. We've also got, yeah, so that's to turn the parking sensors off um, and when you do, a little red light comes up to say that it's off and you've got eco mode which is a driving mode just so that it promotes economical driving. Around town I wouldn't use it but on the motorway I would just so it smooths everything out. So, in your central display then, you first of all got the little screen on the right hand side so that's where you've got your trip computer so that's controlled by on the button on the end of the uh, wiper stock just there and when you go through those it goes through the different sections you've got so like fuel economy, range, it does have more than 50,000 miles left in the tank um, and obviously average speed and even temperature and this is where also if you do need to reset your tyre pressure light it's just on that last button there to the right side of the screen we've got your fuel, fuel gauge, so we've got half a tank at a minute from the £20 I put in for you. And then we've got your speedo in the centre and then your rev counter on the left hand side. So, your indicators are on the left hand side and then the headlights are controlled by the end of the indicator stalk just there. With your fog lights in the middle and then on, your, on the other side we've got your wiper so it's all the way to the top for off, down one for intermittent, down one down another one for constant and then you've got your rear wiper control just on the back there. So on your steering wheel this is how you control your speed limiter or cruise control. First of all what you need to do is you need to select which one you want to use just by using that switch there. So we've got speed limiter there and your cruise control there. When you do put one on it comes up on, on the little screen there and then if you want to set it, you just push the plus or minus and then that will also allow you to adjust the speed at which it's set at. And then the right hand side we've got your resume and we've got your cancel as well. In the centre we have got your air conditioning, so we've got your airflow direction there. We've also got your fan speed just there. That little tab underneath is for your recirculation and then your temperature on the right. We've got your air conditioning on and off there and your heated rear window there down here on the out on the outer edges these are for your rear electric windows we've also got the lock switch to lock off the controls in the back and then also we've got the cruise control speed on to I mentioned before up here we've got your hazard warning lights we've also got your central locking the car will automatically lock itself as you um, as you set off I think it gets to about five ten miles an hour and then it locks itself down into your screen then so Dodgy music. So this is your home screen. So this is where you access each of the different functions of the screen. So you first of all got your phone. So we'll click on phone. So 
when you get into the car, obviously you want to set your phone up so that you can use the hands-free calling, and you just press search for Bluetooth device. When it comes up with your phone, click on the phone, and if you press allow to all the permissions, just so you've got full use of the, um, the you know, the Bluetooth. Going, going back to home screen then, if you want to use your radio, so just tap on radio, you have got DAB, FM and AM. And the way that it scrolls through those different types is that corner there, there's a little drop down menu there. There is some presets already in there for you, but if you did want to set one of your own, first of all you do is go to the list, find out exactly what radio station you want to use. So we'll go on at Radio 2, because that's already set as one. And uh, it's just a simple case of push and hold on there, and you'll hear the beep to show that it's done it. No matter what function that you're on, there is always a little home button just to the bottom left hand side of the screen. So you may have to push that a couple of times to get back to the beginning, but it will always bring you here. You've also got your satellite navigation, so usual warning message. If you want to set a destination, so address, and then you can either put the town, which is where you can put your postcode in, or you can do it by street name, and then just keep pressing OK to everything, and then it will put you through. So the car has got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So what you need to do is plug your phone in through your usual phone charger into that USB slot there. Um, with Android Auto, you will have to download a separate app for it for your phone, whereas CarPlay is already installed. And then that puts the phone, basically mirrors your phone onto the screen. So I find it quite useful because I run my music off Spotify and I use Waze as my sat nav, and it just means I can control it all through the screen without having to touch my phone once. Um, when it comes to music, listen to music in the car, obviously you go through the media, so obviously there's nothing connected at the minute, so you won't go through, but when you go into that, when something is connected, um, it will do a little drop down menu at the top left hand corner, and then that will select, let you select whether it's your USB, whether it's your auxiliary, so obviously just that one there, um, or whether you're streaming Bluetooth from your phone, it just gives you that option there. To turn the system on and off, I'll switch there. Conversation we had back in 20. And then we've also got your volume plus or minus on there. You do also have a volume on the back of the steering wheel, which is a little two um, pull levers there. Down the back of that, you've also got um, a scroller wheel, so we can go through your tracks and where it's your radio stations. And you've also got source, answer, and hang up your phone, and in a different mode there. When it when somebody does ring you, you can use either that or it'll come up with a message on there. The other thing to mention is the car's got start stop. So that little button there, if you push that, that will turn off the start stop system. So the little orange light just there. The car will automatically default to having the start stop system activated, and every time you get back into it, it'll do the same. Um, basically, how it works is that when you come to a set of traffic lights, and normally you just put your foot on the cut on the clutch, say it pretty into neutral, and then bring your foot back off the clutch just so that you know you just. You know, you're not using the uh, pedals whilst you start still. At that point, the engine will then stop. Once you're ready to set off again, all you do is put your foot on the clutch, and then by the time you've fully depressed the clutch pedal, the engine will be already going again. Put it in, into first and drive off as normal. So, on here, we have got your service and instruction manuals. So there isn't actually a separate service book, it's all contained within the back of the manual itself and is um, so when you get service if you just leave it on the seat for the mechanic and they will uh, obviously they'll be prompted to uh, there to stamp it. So hopefully you enjoy your new car, so, but if you've got any questions say please don't hesitate to give us a call. Cheers.